Welcome, this is more of Surf Exploring, the bundle for racial justice and equality massive itch.io pack. Right now, I'm looking at No Secrets by Quasi Otter, Quasi Otter, something like that. One of the games in this bundle which can be played right in the browser rather than being downloaded. I have no experience with this game, I'm not sure what to expect. No Secrets. Well, we've got, um, maybe a hypnotism simulator. There's one square up here in the right, upper right-hand corner that is rather out of the grid. Horizontal squares, vertical back to That's supposed to click. Oh. The out-of-place square goes to the place where I click. But I can't put it on one of the other horizontal squares. All right, yeah. I'm really not sure what I'm accomplishing here, but okay. It's certainly interesting to look at anyway. Especially if you just stare at it kind of boggles the eyes. Um, I saw a little thing in the description which said there was implied sexual content, which, um, there must be something I'm not getting here. Maybe it shows up after a while, maybe you have to basically put in a password or something, I don't even know. Uh, clicking on these horizontal squares doesn't seem to do anything. Let me go back to the beginning. Just experimenting around here on this black and white grid of hypnotism. <laughs> I have no idea how to get to anything else. Um, well, I'm baffled. <laughs> And uh, that, that might be all I have to say for this, because I'm not really sure what else to do. Um, maybe I'll check the comments and then come back. Okay, um, I'm back, and this is still no secrets. And um, clearly I was not doing it right. The idea is not to click or use the mouse, the idea is to use arrow keys and I can move into these blocks in order to read something. The air is thick with smoke and heat, but taking the long way to the apartment is better for avoiding people. If I go to the... that was up. If I go down from here, I get my friend and I were suspended from recess because I poured glue in her hands. I hope she also thought it was worth it. So it's a weird cuteness here. I guess these are all thoughts. I probably should have mentioned to my psychologist that I have a difficult time paying attention to text, like when it took me two hours to read six pages of Derrida. Yeah, that sounds a little bit like attention deficit disorder. And also I can empathize, even though I don't think I have that. Sometimes text is dull and not you want to focus on. I'm not 113 years old. Well, that narrows down the possibilities a fair bit, thank you. The first time I played a Bitsy game, I was so scared an enemy character was going to attack. I wish more guys understood that sensuality without an end goal is great in itself. Ah, sexual commentary. I guess this is where the uh, adult content is uh, coming in. Fair enough. I wonder what asymp asymptotic jumping... Asymptotic. I wonder what asymptotic jumping in a platformer would be like. Hang on a moment. Well, I went and looked up asymptotic, and I still don't... I still can't say I really understand what's being said here. Uh, apparently asymptotic means approaching but never entirely touching something, such as a line. I hope I have a chance to meet my favorite game developers someday. 
Well, I can certainly appreciate that. I'm a queer person of color with a disability. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, you go, Quasi Otter. Very cool. I love people, but mostly from a distance. Uh, I, I know some people who might have said that. When watching foreign films, I tend to feel like a stupid American. <laughs> I always used to tear the crispy ends off of French fries. I find it quite odd that man buns with shaved sides are a trend. That sounds pretty odd to me, too. I know nothing about it. I just had peach-flavored cream soda today. Wow! <laughs> oh, this is just so cute. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I looked up what, what the heck is happening here so that I wasn't just lost clicking on these squares and having nothing happen. I could have gone to the spelling bee, but I let my friend go instead, even though she couldn't spell bamboozle. Every town ought to have a playground for adults. It's impossible to not feel creepy on the swings when there's kids around. Oh, mood. <laughs> and anyway, you know, a lot of the playgrounds for children, um, it's easy to be too big for. It would be nice to have swings and handlebars and uh, tunnels to crawl through and things that were actually, you know, full-sized for adult people. So that, uh scale up. This reminds me of, I, I used to go to uh, Gym Jam, which was a huge indoor playground with uh, play structures a couple times when I was a kid. I absolutely loved it. I had dreams about it for ages. Uh, well, this um, collection of thoughts, which I guess it's really all it's supposed to be, um, there's a description somewhere that says, uh, thoughts on September 4th, 2017. So I guess it was basically like someone took their diary entry, diary entry and turned it into a game. I want to be paid without having to work. Okay, maybe it would be fun to make some uncompromising art for a living. Animal husbandry is my turn for taking an idiom in its literal form. I- okay. <laughs> Helen Keller. What about her? <laughs> I'm not even going to visit all of these blocks. Um, you can go and visit this yourself in order to uncover some of the other uh, secret, not secrets, the things which are being shared. Just thoughts of, I suppose, um, some black queer person with a disability who's awesome and willing to share. <laughs> I don't understand how people listen to metal for hours on end. It hurts. Oh, I, I like metal. Prog metal, though. Alright, um, some cute thoughts here, some soul, although I did have to look up a couple of comments in order to understand how to get in. Now I get it. Okay, um, so this has been No Secrets, full of little reveals tucked away in boxes. You can see all the boxes, but it's a neat idea. And kind of difficult to look at. <laughs> One of many games available on the Social Justice Bundle. <laughs>